We'll continue on with the modelling improvements and take a look at some enhancements to chamfer and fillet. Again, I'm just going to open a part here to demonstrate uh, some of these updates here. And the first one we see uh, is within the chamfer tool. So if I go into chamfer, you'll see the property manager has now been brought more in line with the fillet tool. So the two are very similar, uh, similar options, similar controls. I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, angular distance chamfer and just select one of the edges on screen. Now you'll see within here I can specify the distance and the angle. If I change over to distance and distance, you'll see that we have some new options towards the bottom. So within the chamfer parameters I can specify symmetric or asymmetric. If I move over to face-to-face, uh, -face, uh, a new option within the chamfer tool, I can now specify multiple distance chamfers, so something we couldn't do in the past. So I'll key in a value here of 0.5 and I can move around my model uh, clicking on edges and you'll see each of the edges that I specify for a chamfer contains a flyout where I can key in specific values. So again, just being brought much more in line with the fillet tool allowing us to achieve elements like so. So we'll add on that multiple distance chamfer. So we'll just spin the model around a little bit here and I'm just going to roll back prior to uh, the shell command because there's another chamfer option that I want to show. So within here we now see an additional option to do a face to face chamfer. So this allows us to specify the face where we want to go from and the face where we want to go to and you'll see it picks up the connecting edge between those two faces so that in itself is quite nice but the thing that we really like here is the ability to specify a hold line so within this option we can then choose two edges or split faces which they are in this example to control the profile of the chamfer in a much more accurate way so you'll see here we get a uh, a fairly complicated chamfer that would have been a little bit awkward to create in previous releases. So you'll see there that that gives us a really nice result. One of the other things that's seen uh, an area for improvement is the ability to switch between a chamfer and a fillet. So if we modify the chamfer we've just created, we've actually got a toggle at the top here to change that over to a fillet. So I can specify that I now want that chamfer to be a fillet. And if I maintain uh, curvature continuous relationship here, you'll see it matches the constraints that I'd applied within the chamfer tool. Now this works in both ways. So I can change a fillet to a chamfer and a chamfer to a fillet. So a really nice improvement to the tool set there for 2017. Now one of the other things that I just wanted to highlight is the fillet that we created in uh, 2017 which you'll see happening on the right hand side uh, is quite a speed improvement over what we would have had to do in 2016 so in 2016 we've got the same model but we don't have the same option within the fillet tool so we're going to have to take more of a surface based approach to create that feature so using a boundary surface and selecting the two edge loops we can create a surface that looks like what we need but we'll need to add on a couple of extra connectors here just to control uh, the shape that we want to produce so we can do that using some of the right click menus within uh, the boundary surface tool so once we've defined our additional connectors we can specify where they go and how we want them to control the face that we're creating And once we've done that, we'll end up with a surface that looks very much like what we have in 2017. The next few operations that we'll need to produce will involve extending that surface so it goes past uh, the body that we want to cut. And then it will just be a question of using a cut with surface tool to remove uh, the material that we don't want. So you'll see we end up having to use three features to achieve something uh, that only took us one feature in 2017 so quite a speed increase plus in 2016 we can't actually modify that to change it over to a chamfer so all in all we see much more flexibility 
less workarounds and faster modelling. And in effect, that makes it three times faster in 2017. Thank <music> you.